Lisa's Anime and Gamer fans, and welcome back to Lisa's Let's Play! Woo! Okay, so, um, I didn't really know what to do for a random slot, so, uh, one thing I really wanted to try out was Geometry Dash, da da da, Geometry Dash. Uh, I always thought that was really cool, watching, uh, like, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, and one of my personal favorite, um, the guy who plays Levi on Sango Nanami's channel. And I always really liked it, but I, I kind of criticize them. I think that, you know, this this game doesn't look that hard. So I kind of wanted to try it on myself. And so just because I want to do a little more than just, you know, it being about the game, um, this is going to be kind of an introduction of who I am and as a person and what I kind of want to bring to the channel and why I have this channel. So let's get started, shall we? Because it can't be that hard. It really can't. Okay. So... See, that's not that bad. Oh, what? What? Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, come on. What? Maybe I, I was too quick to judge? Um. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Okay, I take it back. I am sorry, Jack, Mark, and Levi, that I criticized you and your natural talents and everything. I am so sorry. You you guys apparently are bosses. And this is supposed to be just the demo, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, dang it. Um, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be commentating. Um, ah, oh, come on. Um, oh, what? I guess because I have an older computer, it's, it's really laggy. Um, oh yeah. Um, no more about me. That's, that's the whole point of this. Um, 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 okay, um, ah, okay. Um, I guess I should start talking about, you know why I love JCTV, or why I started JCTV. Oh, yeah. Okay, um... Okay. Oh! Oh, come on! Oh, my God, this is difficult. Um... But, yeah, um, before I started my own independent channel, well, I still had the channel, it's just I, I was tied with JCTV for over a year. Oh, my God, come on! Um... But, yeah, uh... I think I was there with JCT for almost two years, and the reason why that was because um, when I had first started JCTV, um, I actually just had given birth to my son Niles, and around that time, like, oh, we were in such bad luck. We were having so much bad luck. Um, we had lost everything. We lost all, we lost everything in our apartment due to uh, a black mold breakout that had happened while I was away. And um, not only that, like, um, I had lost my job. I, uh, <laughs> I ran out of money. And, you know, the all the money that I had left, we spent on baby stuff, which we lost. And so um, it was really difficult. Like, it was like scary. I mean, I have never, I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life because not only, you know, it was, oh, oh, damn it. Um, it was really scary because not only what, did we not have anything to, you know, secure ourselves, but we had a baby on the way. So that made it even worse. So luckily, um, our neighbor who, uh, lived in the apartment complex next to us, who now lives below us, actually. <laughs> um, he was nice enough to, uh, let us live with him until my husband, uh, worked enough hours to save up for, uh, our own apartment. And, um, it was, it was difficult because we lived with, um, him and two other guys. And so, like, it was a tiny two-bedroom apartment. And... <laughs> When you have six people, including a child and three cats, it was it was extremely difficult. So I was like super depressed the majority of the time, and it was just it was stressful. It was so stressful trying to take care of a child and trying to stay out of drama at the same time. 
and um, back then JCTV only had man I do I'm not doing well on this <laughs> but back then JCTV only had 25 viewers and my friend who started it Jacob um, he the whole point of it was supposed to be about games uh, cartoons um, comics and uh, anime but every time he posted up something about anime, it was only of two genres, or two animes, which was Bleach and Naruto. And I, 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 I so I asked him, I was like, hey, I know you, you have a lot on your plate, um, can, uh, and I know you don't really have a diverse knowledge of anime. I was wondering if it's okay if I do my own anime reviews on your, on your site. And oddly enough, he said yes. <laughs> so that was my big start with uh, JCTV. And after that, like after that, like things slowly started getting better. Like my depression started like vanishing. Which, for those of you who don't know, it is very common for women who had just given birth to be more prone to, to depression. And it's 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 very common. So like it was it, it, it was a big thing. It gave me something to do. And so, like, then after that, like, I started doing my own stuff, and then I started doing video stuff, and it, I, I really enjoyed it. And then, um, he asked me if I could do gaming stuff, and I was like, well, because around this time, I didn't know about Let's Players. I really didn't. Like, I was, I thought YouTube was just for, you know, people who post up stupid fart videos and stuff like that, and people who want to post stuff about their cats. I, I didn't really know much. And the first YouTuber that I actually knew about was uh, Doug Walker, who's the Nostalgia Critic. But, um, so he asked me to do gaming stuff, and I was like, well, I'll try. My husband's more of a gamer than I am, but, um, you know, I'll try. And so, um, around this time, this is when the Five Nights at Freddy's actually reached me. Uh, I didn't know anything about it, really. I was like, it sounded stupid, to be honest. But uh, the first time I tried it out was one of my roommate or roommates at the time had it on his computer and I played it and oh my gosh I kid you not I cried my eyes out the entire man I am sucking this <laughs> but I cried my eyes out the entire time I I kid you not it was awful I I, I screamed so loud that our neighbors actually came over to ask us to keep it down. I was like, I'm so sorry, because I'm a wimp. I'm a huge wimp when it comes to anything horror. And so after that, like, um, we actually did get our own apartment. So that was really cool. Well, it's the apartment we live in right now. Oh, come on, I jumped. But it's the apartment we live in right now, and it's, it's not that much better. But anyways, <laughs> but um, so what happened was, um, I had gotten the second one, which, by the way, my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's character is Toy Bonnie. I love him, even though I think it should be a girl. I really do. It's just too cute and too blue and too adorable to be a boy. But, um, so I had just gotten done with the second one, and that one, I didn't cry as much, but it was still pretty bad. But what had happened was we had another laptop at the time. Oh my god, I suck at this. Man, 71 attempts. I am super bad at this. Um, I haven't even got past that, really. <laughs> oh my god, I suck. But, um, we had an old laptop at a time. And, um, since we didn't have a TV, uh, <laughs> in order to keep my son in- Oh my god! In order to keep my son entertained by like letting him watch, you know, uh, I think he was really big and pink. Yeah, pink was a Madagascar at the time. Um, so in order to make sure he was able to watch it, uh, I would hook up my laptop so he could watch it in the morning. So that way I could sleep in a little bit. But what had happened was uh, I got caught up in the. Oh my God! Come on, Lisa. Um, I got caught up in the electrical cord to my laptop, and it jerked it off and broke it completely. So, um, I wasn't able to get any more of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. And so, I was like, well, I want to know what happens, you know, because I was really curious as to how these children die, who killed them and all. 
and this was just last year like I, I had no idea you know the third one had came out or that the fourth one oh my god or that the fourth one was in the works or anything like that and so um oh my god i suck at this game and so oh, oh my god uh and so uh i was like well uh and my friend had told me you know well you know there's a third one out right and so i was like well i can't get it i don't have a computer and we were still poor we, well we were still poor back then and so i was like well um maybe i can find it online maybe i can uh you know look it up or something okay oh dang it come on uh look it up or something and so um a friend of ours was nice enough to give us his old tv and with uh, a bonus my husband got we were able to get an xbox 360 and so we were able to get internet and all that jazz and whatnot and so oh come on um so um Hang on. Ah, oh, come on! I can do this! I'm almost at 100! I suck so bad! Oh my god! But, um... So, uh... I decided to look up, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 to see whoever could come up with a thing. And, of course, the first thing I find is a YouTube video made by Markiplier. Yeah! This is how I discovered Markiplier as well. And so, as soon as I saw his video, like, that's when I, like, started, like, getting engrossed into Let's Players and other stuff on YouTube. Because, like I said, the entire time I thought, you know, YouTube was about, you know, people doing stupid pranks uh, and, you know, posting cat videos. But after I saw this and, like, I actually started connecting with people that I had never met before. And the one thing that really spoke out to me most of all was uh, the second thing that I had ever experienced was some of the stuff Markiplier does. And like, you know, like let or he doesn't do just Let's Plays. He does skits. He he does a lot of charity work as well. And that really spoke to me most of all because of how much people or how much he impacted people's lives. And that surprised me because even though I don't know what I want to do as a career wise or you know what like what a main goal is for me the one thing I always wanted to do was just to be there for people be there for people who has experienced the same types of hardship and tribulations that I have gone through because throughout a couple of my other videos I had explained you know I had a rough childhood like um, I grew up from an abusive home. Both of my parents died before I turned 13. Uh, my family didn't want me, so they put me in a children's home, and I stayed there until I was 18. And then I told about how, you know, I, I wasn't allowed to be myself. I was forced to be a person that, you know, everybody else wanted. And so, like, the fact that how much Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and Matthias and a little bit of other YouTubers, like, uh, Nate Wants a Battle, and I don't know if Songo Nanami knows that she does it, but, you know, these people make... Oh, come on! I can totally do that! Ah! But, um, just being able to impact these people's lives, and that's all, like, I really wanted to do. I really want to help people like that. It's not, like, a selfish thing, you know, just trying to make up for, you know, the past that I have. But there are people who need that in their lives, you know? Like, there are people who need the support and need to know that, you know, even though the, the part of your life that you're in right now is very difficult... <laughs> Um, it, 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 it can get better with time so long as you progress and, you know, just have an example of other people who've been in those type of situations as well. And I want to be that kind of person. I want to help those people like that. But, you know, it also kind of demands, you know, stuff like money, uh, time, and, you know, resources. And I don't have any of that. So, like, that's why I kind of stuck with anime reviews is because I felt like I couldn't do Let's Plays. I felt like I wasn't good enough to do Let's Plays because I, 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 I'm not a, I, well, I am a gamer, just not a over-obsessive gamer. I'm not that kind of person. I don't over-obsess 
well, I don't want to call it an obsession, but more of a talent. Let's let's call it a talent. I don't have a talent for games. Look at this game. <laughs> See? Oh my god, I'm pausing. Oh wait, that's not the pause button. Oh my god. <laughs> But as you can see, I totally suck at this game. But anyways, I'm going to just wrap all this up real quick. Um, but yeah, the whole point of me being able to do all this is because not only is it so much fun because I'm, I, I actually get to express myself, I get to have fun with the games I play, and not only that, like my main goal for my whole channel is... I want to be able to make people laugh, make people happy, do something with my life that I can actually do. And for the first time ever, like when I, after I discovered, you know, kind of the truth of YouTube, um, it made me feel like I wasn't helpless. Like, you know, the, that I could do anything, even though I'm technically poor. And don't get me wrong, I still love my life. I love my son, I love my husband. And I am so blessed to have it because, like I said earlier, you know, the majority of the women who have children around my age, you know, they have a whole bunch of different baby daddies. They have a whole bunch of drama in their life. And, you know, it's just, I feel blessed just to be able to have one sense of security. Not only that, like I said, I really didn't have a family growing up. My family abandoned me as the first chance they got and just used me for the majority of the time. And if my family is listening in on this it is the truth i'm sorry but okay not all my family i should take that back it's the majority of people who tried to take care of me in my family i should have explained that a little more but you know not only that just you know the kind of the background i grew up in is just the one thing i always the i didn't really care about what kind of life i had so long as i two things happened in my life the first one is i found a good man to you know kind of love and take care of me and he does a good job of that like I, I know that sounds kind of bad but you know I had a whole bunch of people who's let me down in my life I wanted someone who would stay there and be my rock for everything and we have dealt with so much stuff that I can't include in one little video but um so the fact that I have him in life and he supports me all the way like not just financially wise anything if I, if, if I want to, you know, start drawing or writing a book, he backs me up 100% and does whatever he can to help. If, like, when I told him I really wanted to do Let's Plays and, you know, kind of have a YouTube channel that brings joy to other people's lives and kind of makes, not makes the world a better place, but makes it easier to cope with, he backed me up. He's the first person to ever say, I believe you 100%. Rather than saying, well, you can't do that because that doesn't make money. I don't care about money. I want to do stuff that helps people, that makes people happy, you know? And because of I have that person in my life, not only that, the second thing I always wanted to be was a mom. And the reason why I say that is because my dad was a great person. I love my dad with all my heart. It makes me so sad that he left so soon. But it was my mom that I really had a problem with because she was the main abuser in my life. I have a whole bunch of scars where she, like, beat me, stabbed me, everywhere. And so, like, that was the one thing I wanted to do was, you know, to be the mom that I never had. And I know that's kind of selfish as well, but there are so many because the, the children's home I grew up in, it was obvious how many children don't have strong parental figures. And I knew that one day I was going to be a mom. I already knew that. But, you know, it was the question of what kind of mom I wanted to be. So even though I really don't like my mom, I really don't. But I will give her credit for being a role model of the kind of person I don't want to be. And so with that said, like, even though I have these two things that are just a huge blessing in my life, it's still... It, it, I still feel, you know, like, I still feel held back. Like, there are so many things in this world that constantly tries to, you know, claw at me and kind of just make sure I stay in this kind of state of, you know, helplessness that I'm worthless and just this dark sense of depression. And 
I, I, I don't want to be like that. I want to progress. I want to help people. I want to make people happy. I kind of want to be like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, you know, basically like them. And I know that's such a cliche in its own world. But, you know, they, the world needs more people like that. Like, I, I like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know this is total of a rant. I can't help it. But, like, when I first started off YouTube, all I saw was the good. Like, I saw good YouTubers that actually try to make happiness in somebody's life. And that's all I focused on. And it wasn't until recently when the whole, um, what's it called? <laughs> um, controversy of, uh, the where's the fair use on YouTube did I actually started seeing some of the douchey type people on YouTube and honestly I didn't think there was people like that I didn't think that you know there were people who are just in it for you know the views for the money and stuff like that I don't I don't care about money that money has never made me happy in any shape or form and the reason why I say that is because I, I actually grew up in a wealthy type atmosphere and you know Money has never made me happy at all. It never has. And so the whole point of me doing this is because not only because I want to kind of do something with my life that's meaningful, but, you know, there are people in this world that need stuff like this. They need people they can relate to. They need people who, you know, understand what they're going through. And I want to be that person. I want to help people. And I just, I'm, I'm poor. I don't have the means to, you know become a certain person like a counselor or a psychiatrist or do something bigger like become a doctor or anything like that and not only that I just don't have the drive for it and just the fact that there is YouTube where I can be myself have fun and hopefully impact other people's lives as well that is what I want to do that is something that's fun and wonderful all on its own so yeah <laughs> I think that's enough rent for one day um but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video it was a total drag I know like I said this wasn't really supposed to be anything big it was just something fun for me to do personally and just something to introduce myself as well um like I said I'm poor so this was obviously a uh, demo of geometry das which I totally failed like 138 times <laughs> but it was still fun and not only that like I got to share a little bit about myself and hopefully I hope you guys liked it um <laughs> I know it wasn't much um and like I said the whole point of me being on this channel is because I want to grow and I want I want to help people really well like I don't know like not help well, like I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, um, but I want, I want to help people, you know, being able to find the positive in their lives and just make their days brighter because I, I never had anybody like that until I met my husband. It was all on my own. I had to fight through everything and just keep pushing through. And honestly, if I didn't have my husband, I don't think I would have made it on my own. So there are more people who don't have that person in their life and I kind of want to be that person that you know reminds them you know you're beautiful yes the world sucks right now it really does but you are strong you are wonderful and you are great so show that world who's boss and just take it by the balls and keep on trucking because it will get better in the end and so that's that's really the whole point of my channel is not only for me to have fun, but being able to have fun and just being able to make an impact and bring joy to other people's lives. So yeah, that is the reason why I'm on this channel. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a totally stupid little vlog game type thing whatever <laughs> but I still hope you enjoy it um if you want to see more stuff like this please let me know like I said I want input I I want to hear what you guys have to say 
If you think I'm a total douche, that is fine. I will listen to it anyway. If you like me, just let me know. I want to hear you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and slash or subscribe. If you want to see more videos I've done, please check them out here on YouTube or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. And as always, I want to talk to you people, so let me know. <laughs> My name is Lisa the Amazonist, and we'll see you next time, anime and gamer fans. Bitty buys. Also, don't forget, you're loved. You're loved lots. Okay, now bye-bye.